to know fate channel checking in and today i'm going to answer the question who is matt does fitness i'm going to tell you who he is why he is so popular and i'm going to go back five years to when i discovered his youtube channel and talk about his complete backstory and how he rose from zero subscribers all the way up to over two million YouTube subscribers. Why am I doing today's video? In honor of his limited edition collaboration with MyProtein.com. They're doing a Clearway Isolate collaboration. So at the end of today's video, I'm actually gonna do a taste test of this protein to help you decide if it's worth your hard earned money. If this happens to be your first time to the channel, give this video a like and hit that red subscribe button. I am just a dad of two and this channel is dedicated to my life. I go over fitness, supplements, my dad life and any crazy gadgets that happen to impact me or come across my desk. But let's get into what is important, why you came to this channel, Matt Does Fitness. His real name is Matt Morcia and he has been a long-standing YouTube creator. For a number of years, for over six years, he's created YouTube videos. But where did it all begin? So I wanna go back to before he actually started out in YouTube and talk about his high school days and his college university days. First and foremost, he is from the UK. And for those of you in the United Kingdom, you probably already know who Matt Does Fitness is. He's that big. But in the United States, you probably have seen his videos, but you might not be as familiar um, as those in the UK. So in high school, he started off doing the triple jump and was quite successful all the way through university. However, due to stress fractures and injuries in his legs, he stopped doing the triple jump. And for those of you who've ever done track and are familiar with the triple jump, it is extremely brutal on your joints because you were just taken pounding on your joints, then it is quite unforgiving. He transitioned from the triple jump into powerlifting. Now, for those of you who are not familiar, Powerlifting is the big three of weight lifts, squat, bench, and deadlift, and he is extremely strong. He stands at almost six feet tall, and he looks like a brick S-house. He is very, very well built. Now, during his early YouTube days, he was doing YouTube, but he did have a full-time job as a PE teacher. In the United States, we call them gym teachers, you know, physical education teachers. I don't know in the UK if they call it something different, but that's what he did for his full-time job and then made two or three YouTube videos a week, simply vlogging or chronicling his fitness journey as he did powerlifting. And his original videos, they was something there. They were a little corny. He often just did really cheesy jokes on purpose in all of his videos. And I can't blame him. There was something there. Every time I watched one of those videos, it just wanted me to keep watching more. I discovered him when he had about 4,000 YouTube subscribers, which, which is a good number, but nothing compared to his 2 million YouTube subscribers today. So how do you go from 4,000 subscribers up and over 2 million subscribers? And the answer to that is a few fold. Number one is consistency. Ever since he started doing YouTube, he's been releasing two or more videos a week, every week. And he quickly noticed that his bigger videos were of him eating. As a power lifter, he was trying to bulk up and put on weight. So he would have epic meals and epic cheat days where he was putting on 6,000, 8,000 calories a day. And people just love those videos. But he moved more towards a lot of the clickbait type of videos where he was doing food challenges, where he would eat nothing but Pizza Hut for 24 hours, nothing but donuts for 24 hours, nothing but McDonald's for 24 hours. You guys get the idea. And those videos, because they transcended away from just the fitness community, but into just people looking for funny videos overall, those things blew up. I'm talking over a million, two million views on some of those videos. And, and during that time, he did have his first child. And we all know YouTube loves kids. He quickly incorporated his child into the videos, performing really funny skits on the front end of almost all of his videos, where they would act out some type of role and he would cut it and paste it to have just some funny comedic uh, introduction to the videos. And that really captured a lot of people's attention. And he also got a number of affiliates to kind of sign on board with his 
brand. What do I mean? Well, my protein is one of them. He has been a long-standing uh, proponent and and a, a athlete, affiliate athlete of my protein. Also, Jim Shark, which is massive over there in the UK, signed him up as well. And also, he does have a really well physically built body. He is often the talk of natty or not videos. For those of you who are not familiar, a lot of people claim to be natural when in fact they are taking uh, we'll just say steroids for lack of a better term, but exogenous ingredients or hormones to kind of boost their physique. Now, Matt Does Fitness has always been in great shape and has always had a really good physique, even from high school all the way up. If you look at his much, much older photos versus his current photos, even his family on his YouTube channel, his brothers and his sister often make appearances. They are very athletic and have quite a good frame in terms of physique oftentimes with regards to how we look genetics does play a massive role and oftentimes if you search matt does fitness natty or not you're going to get a ton of videos trying to discuss whether he is natural or is whether he is taking taking the juice i do know that he claims to be natural and he has gone out of his way to try to show that he is 100 percent natural with regards to testing himself i know a lot of the stuff that you see online with regards to thumbnails and with regards to even instagram photos a lot of that is photoshop to kind of tweak a little bit to make everything look a little bit better i happen to think if i had to guess i don't know where i would put my money i would probably put my money on probably not natural however there is a lot of gray area one being he has stated so often and has asked to be tested so often with regards to whether he's natural or not and two genetics he really has looked very similar the whole way up with very small differences in his physique coming from whether he has like a pump post-workout or whether he's on a cut or whether it, again some of those photos are probably photoshopped just a little bit to help you click on that thumbnail when Matt Morcia, Matt Does Fitness, started to clear 1 million subscribers, he quit his day job as a gym teacher and just went full-time YouTube. His wife also jumped on board to manage the YouTube channel. If you can only imagine, at 2 million subscribers, it is like a full-time job, and you do need more than just one person managing a channel or a site that big. Obviously, he has a YouTube channel, he's got a website, he has written his own book, which is extremely popular or sold a ton of copies. He also sells um, diet programs, he sells fitness programs, and of course, he does collaborations. As um, this channel has grown, he has done a number of collaborations with not only companies, but with other YouTubers, with many of his popular videos being challenges where he would take on the Marine Corps fitness workout or the Navy SEAL fitness workout, that kind of stuff, in order to have a fun, funny video that is entertaining, but does, again, transcend just your typical gym bro who's going to click on that video. So many people are interested in some of these topics, and he just gives the people what they want. So that brings us to today. He's still releasing two plus videos a week. He's got the Instagram account. He's got a whole circle of stuff around his brand, Matt Does fitness and he's got a second child i believe he's got one either on the way or it's probably arrived by now but let's dive into myprotein.com now he has been an affiliate of theirs since i don't even know five years ago myprotein.com big over in the uk and it's even big here in the united states there's no middleman there's only one website i'll put a link in the description i'm not going to go over um anything else except for the taste now the taste on this is strawberry laces for those who are not familiar in the uk i believe laces are what we would call as like twizzlers over here something very similar so strawberry laces or twizzlers and i'm going to do two scoops i got i got i got 12 ounces of water i'm going to do two scoops now one scoop is going to be 20 grams of clear whey isolate coming in with zero fat and only one gram of carbohydrate so this is a very clean and lean protein People love the clear white isolates because when they're mixed, they almost taste like branch chain amino acids. Very clear, very easy to digest, and very uh, good with regards to the taste spectrum. You don't get the typical like milk type of whey protein, you know, your chocolate, your vanilla, your strawberries that so many people are familiar with. Let's shake this bad boy up. 
Okay, the difference with a clear whey isolate and your typical protein is that it's gonna foam. You do need to let it sit for like 15 to 20 seconds, says so on the directions. That foaming doesn't really affect taste and it doesn't affect anything else with regards to the protein, but it's something you do need to know that's different than your standard like, you know, chocolate protein that you might get uh, with whatever other company that you might go with. So let's go strawberry laces. Let's see how it tastes. Very good. You get that sweet strawberry candy flavor, but it's not overly sweet. Sometimes you get something that has just like so much flavoring in it. It's like, it's cringy. This isn't it. This is like that strawberry candy flavor, just the right amount. And obviously you could use more or less water. If you want it more sweet, you just drop in less water and vice versa. Overall, a really good flavor. MyProtein.com has really done a number of collaborations with their Clearway Isolate because so many people love them. And again, it's not like putting down your typical oh, protein shake. It's much more of like an enjoyable drink, almost like your BCAAs, your EAAs, kind of like a fruity drink. And they've got a number of flavors. Um, my favorite to date is their Mike and Ike Sour, Screaming Sour um, Cherry. That was a collaboration. I think you can still get it online. That's my favorite to date. Um, but again, that's similar to you know, your candy type of flavor that just pops, really does have a really fun, interesting flavor. Strawberry Lace is definitely a good one, definitely one that I will be glad that I have got a whole bottle of. Do me a favor, check out my links in the description if you're interested in myprotein.com. Those links and my code NOFATE247 will get you 45% off, and that code does help out the channel, so definitely check it out, use it, and help support the channel. If you came this far in the video, do me a favor, give this video a like, drop a comment below. Let me know if you've heard of Matt Does Fitness before today's video. Um, and as usual, thanks for watching and don't save anything for the trip ba back. Wow, excuse me, that was rude. This channel is dedicated to my life as a father of two wonderful children and it centers around health, fitness, and all of the tricks and tribulations that I go through to try to be a great parent to my children and still accomplish my own personal goals.